Uh, hi guys, welcome to another tutorial of scale. Uh, in this uh, tutorial, I will be showing you how to analyze the results of a semantic differential test. So, yeah, first uh, we would go to analyze and we would select uh, our test. In this case would be this one, same differential tutorial. This is the test uh, I created in another tutorial and I also make an example of performing. Uh, you can check the other tutorials. Um, so we select our test and we press confirm. Um, yeah, uh, here are all the sets uh, of results available for this test. So I made the test uh, myself uh, five times in order to have a little set of results. Um, the um, the way I performed the test uh, was a little bit uh, random, like I didn't pay it uh, my much uh, attention. So the values doesn't make uh, much sense, uh, but um, I just want you to show you the options available. So um, I think it will be okay. So the uh, results can be selected uh, one by one or all together. We'll select first uh, one. Uh, we have also the different scenarios available in this. In our test, we had five scenarios. So we can select uh, all of them. Mm, and here we have uh, the different, uh, let's say, the different op um, parameters uh, that we can uh, modify. Uh, related to our observation. Those are the different uh, questions. If you remember, we had a total of uh, eight comparing uh, items in our test. So we start with the first one and this would be uh, the last one. We select now one scenario and we select uh, one question. Um, so yeah, what does it mean? Um, Basically, here is appearing uh, the, let's say, the judgment that uh, we made in uh, question one, in this scenario one. The judgment that ma was made uh, in this performance of the test. I can select more scenarios. I'll make it a little bit smaller. Uh, so yeah, in scenario one, this subject in question one uh, placed the slider in the position uh, between uh, in this point. As you remember, you can also uh, select uh, how many values has the slider. Like in this case, I think it's uh, it was selected four, so it goes from zero to three. Uh, yeah, mm, we'll select now question two. So we have uh, now two. And now we'll select more. We'll select until question six. Um, yeah, it looks a little bit funny, but this is uh, like the different forms and everything. The problem is that uh, the maximum number of questions is 20, so one has uh, to make uh, different somehow so yeah that's why they look different if we click on the legend we know uh, what are what are exactly uh, what are we exactly seeing like uh, the um, yeah, question one it will be it will have this pointer marker question to this one and etc yeah, we'll take actually more questions. We'll select now um, another subject. Now it, there is even 
more data, we can make it also uh, like our data. We can make it uh, smaller. Um, yeah, uh, we will select. We'll select all. Like, I don't know. It's somehow chaotic, but nice. Um, like, we cannot make it bigger. Um, yeah, the legend. Uh, <laughs> When there is too much data, it's like this. But, but I think it's just nice, about, but it doesn't make sense to watch it like this. Like in this, yeah, we will take we will take out uh, some questions and we will change the visualization process. The, the different visualizations are this one a single. Now we are, let me take out, get rid of this legend. Ah, oh, yes. Much better. Um, we have the different visualizing visualizing options here. We have like single averages, so we are obtaining um, like the what the the subject selected, the judgment of the subject in this uh, scenario and in this uh, question. Uh, we can also sorry. Um, we can also ch uh, take uh, general averages. Oh, let me get rid out of uh, more questions. Yeah, uh, so we can take general averages. The general averages uh, just make an average of uh, all the the values or all the judgments of the different subjects and uh, transform it in the in the average and only one value. Like if I select then uh, question two, also general averages, then we have two. And is like this makes a little bit more sense. Like a uh, smaller legend, smaller data set, it's easy to see. Uh, we can also make a combination. So we then see uh, the different uh, single values and uh, the average. We can also watch it as have a confidence interval. It doesn't make really sense the confidence interval because the data set is small and I make it very random. But uh, anyway, let me just continue here in single averages. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so now it's that here is the data that we selected. Let me take here, for example, combined and here also combined. Um, I didn't explain that's this uh, that you have the option of watching a grid or having a grid um, the other options are not uh, very uh, important in this case uh, of test um, you can save your graphic also going here in save graphic so you have a figure a math figure uh, that you can yeah, just save it and you can also save your data in different like a math file excel table and txt file uh, i just delete the txt file from before and uh, i'll just like if you want to to work with your data you would uh, select a uh, math file um, but i will i just want to show you now so i will save it in a text file so we press text file and we will save it as tutorial. We press uh, OK. And uh, I will save it just here in the desktop. Yeah, so we ha here we have the copy. And here are the values, like uh, in scenario one, uh, subject uh, one, in uh, question one, he obtained 1 1.6. You can get rid of all this tail. Uh, yeah, and here subject one, question two, subject one, question three, four, four etc. Like uh, like this, it's a little bit uh, funny. So I think it's better to save it in a math file or in an Excel file because at the end, when you are treating your data, you don't normally you don't treat it from a text file. So yeah, that's uh, all of uh, this tutorial. Thanks for watching and uh, uh, 
um, watch more tutorials uh, if you want more to learn more uh, about scale and um, yeah that's all bye